This is Brianna and I'll be discussing my course project. For our course project, we use the business case scenario of a bike sharing information system. The first step I took was summarizing each business process and explaining the role of the system in supporting these processes. One of the business processes is renting the bike at one of the docking stations. Users will create an account on the mobile application and sign a user agreement before they embark on their first ride. The mobile application will also include a map of all docking stations along with the current number of available bikes for each. As soon as the bike leaves the docking station, the information system will track the number of minutes the bike is outside of the station until it is registered at one of the docking stations again. Each bike has a tracking device so it can be monitored via GPS. The bike process will end once the bike is checked into the next docking station. Another business process is user maintenance. The account set up on the mobile application will require their first and last name, phone number, a valid email address, and credit card information. The information system will store the required information for each user and data on each ride. The system will also keep track of all charges for each user and monitor any incidents such as damage to the bike, reports of unsafe biking practices, or neglecting to park the bike at a designated docking station at the end of the ride. Keeping records of the users can also be useful in conducting usage reports. Data can be pulled to calculate statistics, such as how many users hold annual memberships, the average time users spend on a bike ride, and the number of incidents or reports. The mobile application could also allow users to create a user profile where they could track the number of their bike rides as well as the distance and time for each ride. This information would already be in the software and may be something that users would be interested in viewing. Billing is a crucial process for all companies and is the last business process that I highlighted. There are a few price points that have been developed by the Healthy Lifestyle Advocacy Group. The first option is for users to purchase an annual membership for $70. Users that choose annual subscription will have the ability to go on an unlimited number of bike rides. Users that opt out of the annual membership have the option to pay $5 for a day pass. The price also varies based on the amount of time the user spends on the bike ride. A 30 minute ride has no extra charge but there is a $1 charge for a ride that lasts between 30 minutes and an hour, $3 fee when rides last between one to two hours, and a ride over two hours has a $7 fee. Since the length of the ride determines the final fee, the system should wait to process the credit card transaction until the ride is complete. If a user has not returned the bike to a docking station after 10 hours, the credit card will automatically be charged $50. Since their bikes have a tracking device, the bikes can still be located by the company if they are not returned. After summarizing the major business processes that the system would need to support, the next step was to provide a description of the information system architecture along with the software, database components, and hardware components. The information system for the bike sharing program will utilize a cloud architecture model. Advantages of cloud storage include eliminating the need to purchase and maintain servers, receiving automatic updates, and providing business continuity in the event of a natural disaster. All user account and billing information will be stored in the cloud. The software refers to the instructions that have been programmed into the system that give commands to the hardware. The bike sharing information system will require both an operating system and application software. The mobile application will allow users to create their account, choose either the annual membership or the day pass option, and enter their billing information. The kiosk at the docking stations will use a kiosk operating system and management software. When the users confirm their payment arrangements and tell the mobile application they are ready to ride, a QR code will appear on the kiosk. They will then scan this QR code with their phone and automatically unlock a bike for the user. Through the GPS device on the bike, the mobile application will keep track of the time and charge the user accordingly. The database for the bike sharing information system will keep track of user and billing information. 
When users download that mobile application and select the annual subscription or the day pass, users will enter their billing information. Database will also store the user account information and will keep track of all charges for each user recording any incidents such as causing damage to the bike. The hardware of the bike sharing information system will include the physical components. The kiosk at the docking station will require a central processing unit or CPU. The CPU needs a processor, hard disk, and RAM. The kiosk will need a screen that instructs users to download the mobile application, and it will also display the QR code for the user to scan when they're ready to ride. Of course, the bike will have that GPS device that will track the location of the bike, also sensors that will record the amount of time between the bike being unlocked at a docking station until it is locked at the next station at the conclusion of the ride. Data from each ride will be saved to the cloud and entered into the database for safe storage. The users will need a smartphone and internet access to download and utilize the mobile application. There are multiple security risks to consider as the bike sharing information system will be connected to public networks. The servers will contain personal information about the users. This information includes the location of the bike they are using, their name, contact information, profile photo, payment information, and billing address. The users would be in danger if a hacker knew their location or billing address, and stealing payment information could lead to a financial loss for users. The payment environment must be secured and follow an account authorization process. The data must be encrypted both during transmission as well as when this, the data is then stored on the cloud servers. The firewall should be configured correctly and audits should be conducted on a regular basis to identify any flaws or weaknesses in the system. Another security risk is the deletion or loss of data. The bike sharing program could experience a malicious attack where someone accesses the database and deletes the stored data. This attack could be initiated by someone outside of the organization or by an employee. Since the user information would be lost, no one would be able to utilize the bike sharing service until the data was restored. The cloud servers could also experience an outage or downtime such as in the event of a natural disaster. To protect against both deleted and lost data, it is imperative to back up the data on a regular basis. The secured backup will ensure the data is restored and will allow the system to be back up and running as quickly as possible. Lastly, there are physical security risks to consider. The docking station will have the kiosk with the central processing unit, the processor, hard disk, and RAM. So the kiosk will need a cabinet or shell to protect this hardware from both theft and tampering. Cameras should be installed at each docking station to monitor any suspicious activity. Also, the bikes will have the GPS tracker, and this will, will also work to prevent the theft of bikes. Or, of course, the company could locate bikes if they are attempted uh, to be stolen. The tracker can be hidden inside the handlebar so that users cannot remove it. And when bikes are damaged, the users that checked out the bikes will be blocked from using the bike sharing program again. I also worked on some coding and design assignments for this project. I designed a flowchart for the billing process, designed data structures for the billing and registration processes, created relational tables to describe current and historical rides, and wrote SQL statements to perform a few tasks. The last step I took for this project was determining the major tasks that need to be completed before implementation. These steps include identifying the sites for the bike docking stations in completing construction, hiring and training members of the implementation team, providing documentation and or manuals on the operational business processes, acquiring and installing all software and hardware components, developing the mobile application and making it available for download on app stores, developing a marketing strategy to appeal to customers, and analyzing reported bugs and developing their fixes for future updates to the system. Thank you.